Capricorn Ascendant, it's Michelle, your practical priestess here at Divinely Genuine. So I'm improvising. Please forgive me and work with me. Um, I'm not home. I'm visiting family and I don't have everything I need. So I'm kind of like propping up my phone and yeah, so sorry about that. So I've shuffled the deck and you can't see it, but here they are. I've shuffled the deck and I'm ready to start um, to split them. Sorry if it's picking up like the road is near here too, but I couldn't find a good spot inside with light and uh, I'm sorry. So Capricorn Ascendant. This is not for Capricorn Sun or Moon. I'm doing something different and going by the Ascendant signs. That way you guys get a um, a little bit of astrology in the tarot readings as well. Um, so for Capricorn Ascendant, you guys are being affected this full moon in Capricorn on June 27th by, um, in the area of your self, your first house, which is self and identity. Um, and how, how you identify with yourself, okay? So that's where you'll be feeling this energy. I'm really sorry if it's too loud. I hope that this will work. All right, guys, so I have split them. Now let me get this spread out. Hopefully the wind won't <laughs> knock them. All right, and then we've got, oh, and I have new decks too. These are the Fairy Healing Cards by Doreen Virtue. And then I've got these tarot cards. Um, which I keep forgetting the, let's see, it's Bridget Reed is, uh, who wrote the, this, these cards and illustrated by Colin Howard. So, all right, all right, let's get into it. Capricorn Ascendant. We are starting with a reversed Eight of Wands, okay? So reverse eight of wands. I don't think it's gonna tell me that in reverse. So how I read that is inwardly. All right, let's get to the wands. Sorry, it is a new book. Oh, here we go. Six. All right. So the eight of wands, this card will often represent the type of cathartic discussion which ends confusion. The Eight of Wands always brings a new surge of energy and freshness um, when it appears. Okay, so maybe in the way of self-identifying you're feeling, you know, something has changed. There's a newness about you. Um, brings a new surge of energy and freshness when it appears. It often signals entry into a new phase or project one which stands a good chance of success. Well, I would believe that with you Capricorns because you guys are built for success and you're great builders of success. Um, so you're, are, you guys are more filling that inwardly as it is reversed. Okay. So filling a change for success. Freshness, new surge of energy. I've, we've got another upright card. I'm sorry, reversed card. And it's the Fool. So the Fool is, if we turn it right side up, you can see he just kind of rushes in there without thinking. Um, very gun ho about it. Very like excited and not really thinking things through. Just like, okay, you know, going with the flow type thing. Um, this reverse, so let's see, actually the major arcana cards in this spread do give a reverse meaning, I believe. Yeah, they do. Okay, so let's find the fool. The fool, don't be a fool. Where are you? Okay, so reversed. The reverse of this card is recklessness, childishness, and a lack of motivation. 
Okay, so you guys could be feeling that during this full moon Capricorns, which is so hard to imagine you guys being that way are such responsible signs. So recklessness, childishness, and a lack of motivation. So you guys are just not feeling motivated feeling a little more reckless and childish during this full moon. Very untypical of you guys, but you are getting this new surge of energy with the Eight of Wands as well. And then we've got another reversed card. We've got the Nine of Cups. Don't believe this is going to give a meaning, so it's going to take on a more inward state. Nine of Cups. This is sometimes called the wish card. What you have an appetite for, you will be given, and your wish will come true. On an emotional level, it indicates that relationships are loving and complete. Creativity is at a high. Friendships, are, friendships and emotions are good, okay? So that's awesome, basically, um, Whatever you're wishing for, you're getting. All seems to be good in the emotional ways and creative ways when you get the Nine of Cups. So you guys have a new surge of energy, feeling a little reckless, a little carefree, childish, unmotivated, and everything is seemingly good with your relationships. Your creativity is at a high. Friendships and emotions feel good. It's awesome. And then for the Healing Fairy card, we have Detoxification. Okay, so apparently we need to do some detoxing. Let's read what the Fairy card Detoxation says. Hard meaning, you are being guided to clean your body, environment, mind, and heart of toxins. Okay? God and the fairies will help you with this endeavor. It's time to let go of toxins within and around you. This card validates your inner guidance that has been telling you to let go of harmful habits. Go outside in nature and call upon the fairies to surround you. Ask God and the fairies to help you release toxins from your mind, body, and heart. Ask them to help you re release your cravings for harmful habit habits. You'll soon find yourself naturally desiring organic, fresh food and produce. You'll be guided to read ingredient labels of all foods, beverages, and toiletry items, and you'll only want to use natural products. You'll be guided away from environmental toxins, and most important, your thoughts and emotions will, will veer away from judgment and fear, and you will become love-based instead. It's almost like an awakening will happen with that, is the way it's seeming. Affirmation, I take excellent care of my body, and I crave only healthful foods and beverages. So that's you guys, Capricorn, during this full moon in Capricorn, June 27th, 2018, which is affecting your self and identity. So you have a new surge of energy, some kind of newness. You're feeling a little more careless and childlike with it. You're getting everything you want. All is well in relationships, with friendships and emotions. And the fairies are just saying, heal yourself. Go a step above. Take yourself a little higher and purify a little more. Alright, I hope y'all liked it. Love you guys. Sorry about the video. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for the support. Until then, peace.